2020 is certainly a year that none of us will soon forget. At AHLA, it begins so full of promise. At our Night of a Thousand Stars annual gala, we welcome incoming Chairman John Boards. We celebrate our industry's star employees, and we raise a record amount for the AHLA Foundation and aspiring hospitality employees. We set upon our mission to train every hotel employee to spot and stop human trafficking, kicking off a series of awareness events around the country. But then the COVID-19 pandemic crashes into our lives, becoming the single greatest economic challenge our industry and our nation has ever faced. In April of 2020, hotel revenue had dropped by more than 90%, something that no one could have ever imagined or prepared for. Our employees and our industry suffer, yet AHLA's resolve to defend and promote our industry grows stronger. We meet with the President of the United States and his cabinet. We engage in nonstop outreach to key members of Congress, communicating a simple message, hotels need help now. When every trade group in Washington, D.C. is asking for help, AHLA's voice is one of the loudest. Congress listens. They quickly pass the CARES Act and with it, the Paycheck Protection Program, which becomes a lifeline to thousands of struggling businesses, including ours. Congress further adopts AHLA's recommendations and implements PPP flexibility to help better meet the unique needs of hotels. You see, by waiving the affiliation rule, reducing payroll requirements, and extending the loan of the covered period, thousands of hotels that would have been left out now get access to critical funds. AHLA's full court press on advocacy also results in a 2021 per diem freeze and COVID-19 liability protections in more than a dozen states. Now, a key ingredient to this advocacy and these wins is telling your personal story. You see, this helps ensure that public support impacts policy decisions. AHLA is front and center in every media outlet, gaining crucial public and political support for our industry through unique AHLA commissioned data. With the lives of hotel employees impacted by the pandemic, AHLA develops initiatives that go well beyond just economic relief. We unite members around employee and guest safety, launching the first ever industry-wide enhanced cleaning protocols known as the Safe Stay Guidelines. This valuable blueprint underscores CDC best practices and it reassures guests that hotels are safe. With so many out of work, we launch Hospitality for Hope, matching up 17,000 volunteer hotels with federal, state, and local agencies. Through the AHLA Foundation, we provide 20,000 furloughed employees free training so that they can continue to develop their career even during the unprecedented pandemic. As 2020 comes to a close, AHLA's aggressive advocacy continues. We create and lead a powerful coalition of over 300 public and private sector groups to drive home our urgent demand for COVID relief now. And you, our incredible members, get more engaged than ever, sending a record 250,000 letters and email to members of Congress in just six months. Now, as we enter 2021, our work is not done. If you haven't already, please sign up for Hotels Act and engage your elected officials. You see, we've accomplished a lot in a tough year. I want to personally thank our partners who have stood by us during this difficult year. We also could not have done this without the steadfast and dedicated leadership of our chairman, John Bortz, and all of our officers and board of directors. If we've learned anything this year, it's how resilient this industry is and how resilient its people are. We have a long road ahead and together we can and we will fight for a brighter future for all of us.